All right. Well, we survived the steps. And Penny showed you her creative techniques. So if you're feeling creative, feel free to just lay down on your belly and cruise on down. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You should see her when we we go for walks in by my apartment and she uh, likes to uh, do this head first dive into the snowbank from the snow blower you know that's blowing up the, the snow and she dives in the snowbank nose first and, like squishes her head in there as far as she can go and like, and then she just snorts and she, I don't know if she thinks there's going to be a big dramatic explosion or what, but it's just really funny. You just want to screw around, don't you? Well, you got to pull me up the hill, so do that first and then screw around later. Nice thing about these pants, you can zip them open on the sides. Yay! So it's kind of like having a little, little air pocket in your sides of your pants. So anyway, that's kind of pretty. Pretty lighting. What do you think? Huh, Penny? And it's mossy. See some moss. You know how I like moss. Okay, now listen here. See, she sees it. She knows how important that moss is to the environment. It's like... It's like the tree is the planet and the moss. The moss is the people on the planet. Right, Pen? So anyway, Ron and I were hiking up by Bond Falls in Michigan, Paulding, Michigan to be exact. Not long ago. I don't know. I think it was in January or something. And there were these crazy girls. And they were hiking too. But they decided to show up around dark. And like, want to go hiking. And, I mean, like, I've got all my snow gear on. My snow boots and my, you know, headlamp and my GPS and our, you know, winter equipment like a normal human being would wear hiking in northern Michigan in January, next to waterfalls, no less. So, I mean, this wasn't just a walk like this. It was like all ice. I mean, it was 100% ice. And the trail you couldn't actually walk on because there was so much ice. Um, you had to go around. And these girls were wearing like, I mean, they had hats and mittens, like knit. You know, like your grandma knitted for you mittens and hats. But, I mean, they were wearing like their jeans. And they're nice, you know, I don't even think it was one of those stupid wool coats that the bankers wear. No offense, if you're a banker or whatever. But they're not that useful. I mean, they just aren't. Um, this one, I think, was like a tweed or a corduroy or something stupid. And then they're wearing their Ugg boots. And 
I don't know what it is with girls in Ugg boots, you know, I mean, seriously. The things are made out of suede. They're not even waterproof. They're shirling on the inside, which, you know, in like three years, that shirling is going to break down and then it's never going to come back. So, I mean, all that heat that shirling keeps you warm with, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it does keep you warm until it breaks down and it's flat and then it's no good. And then you got to go out and toss those in the garbage can or give them the goodwill and go spend 300 bucks on a new pair. I mean, if you want to spend 300 bucks on a pair of not waterproof, useless boots that are slick on the bottom, that's fine. But anyway, pennies playing again. Anyway, they were w walking around in these and out in the woods and it was dark and I took, we were going back to the car and I went looking for them and don't step in the animal product there. And anyway, it was dark and I, I was actually worried about these girls because they were not you know, I didn't know. For all I know, they were going to sleep out there or something crazy, right? So, yay, we've reached the halfway point, I think. And, um, so I went back looking for them, and... What are you looking for? You, This is not the direction that we're going. You just are being a jerk. Yeah, now you're stuck. Nope, she's not. Anyway, so I went back and looked for him and so found some snowmobiler guy who came with me and made it made these crazy girls come back and I tried to give them my phone number because they obviously didn't know what they were doing and I told them if they wanted somebody to, you know, go hiking with, let me know and the girl thought that I was hitting on her girlfriend and freaked out on me. So, but anyway, my moral of the story is just do yourself a favor and be a little bit more prepared because if you're going to break your leg and freeze to death, you don't want to be wearing Ugg boots and a tweed corduroy whatever coat because it's just, you're not going to survive. If you do survive, you'll be lucky. So. And don't hike in Ugg boots. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And if any of you do it, now you better knock it off. Because that's just the craziest thing in the world. Donate them to some little children in need or something. And go buy yourself a pair of Marmots or Columbias or something. Anything. Anything with traction besides... There, now you got, oh, never mind, besides Ugg boots. You do not need to be fashionable when you're hiking. And if you do, then there is obviously something a little bit wrong with you. Because the deer and the potential bear that's going to eat you does not care. Maybe your boyfriend does, or your girlfriend, or your dog, but I don't think so. I just don't think so. And if they do, they shouldn't. You know, I mean. There we go. There's our sign. It's a dummy proof trail. Don't go straight. Go to the left. Penny's telling you where to go. This is technically the halfway point here. There is some um, benches. There is water available. Um. There is snow for your friendly, furry friend to uh, jump around in. And there's another sign if you choose to read it. So, this is good for photos. I take a lot of photos in here. Just make sure you use an external flash versus an internal. Well, you could probably use an internal too, but... I don't know, it's kind of dark. So, 
and it'll kind of white out your subject a little bit. And these trees are like 300 years old, by the way. So. They are hemlock. Isn't that neat? Yeah. They look pretty good, don't they, for not having any plastic surgery? Yeah, maybe they have Botox. Do you think they have Botox for trees? That might be kind of interesting, huh? Hmm. Penny likes to run around here. Alright, we're going to take a break. Break!